from the first word of creation, the divine presence has been found wherever God has revealed himself. Ancient deities were far away, unable to intimately connect with those that feared them. And yet, we know that Yahweh was very present with his people. The idea of divine presence was unique to the children of Israel. Surrounded by nations that lived in great fear of their gods, how did Israel love Yahweh? And what about today? Is God present only in the cathedrals and the pulpits? Or is God's divine presence in our workplaces, in our homes? Can he be found in the mundane places of life? The whole issue of the divine presence is very important. It's basic. I would think that any pastor, any teacher, any Sunday school teacher would be addressing this from time to time. It's a massive issue. It starts in the Old Testament, develops hugely in Genesis with the themes of the tabernacle and the opportunities for worship and how God manifests himself among his people, carries right through the Old Testament, but there's an increasing desire for another kind of presence and that manifests itself in the New Testament where Christ comes and reveals God's glory and this conference is going to touch on all kinds of aspects of things that relate to that very very important theme. Very basic to a Christian. How do we know God? How do we have peace with Him? How do we have contact with Him? How is He in our lives? What is the Divine Presence? What does it mean to be indwelt by the Spirit? And the biblical picture is rich and varied and wonderful. So much more than just your run-of-the-mill conference where you come and you hear good lectures, but this is a celebration, and it's a celebration of years of solid biblical studies at Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary, but we're celebrating biblical studies here through a profound and what I think is a life-changing theme, the theme of the Divine Presence. That Jesus taught us so the Divine Presence is vital to the fulfillment of the Great Commission. And this is not something just a select few Christians are called to, but everyone is called to participate in the Great Commission, the evangelization of the whole world, and to establish the Divine Presence of God in the four corners of the earth. We are also celebrating someone very special. We're celebrating Dr. Gary Pratico, years of service here at Gordon-Conwell. And for me personally, uh, Gary was not only my professor, my mentor, but he's become a close friend and now colleague here. He was the one that first introduced me to this life-changing theme of the Divine Presence. And it's as if I can still hear in my ears those words from Genesis to Revelation, from Eden to eternity, because that's the source of that phrase. When I first heard it, I thought, I want to get this theme, I want to understand divine presence and so we're honoring his years of service here at the seminary but also his life a life that truly does represent one who has been touched by the divine presence and I think a lot of Christians think still in a semi deistic way they think of God as in heaven having given them rules having sent his son but that's all up in heaven and we are living our best on earth trying to survive in a hostile world uh, living for Christ. Well, you do that not by being entirely on your own, but by having Christ in you. It gives us a sense of where we came from and where we're going. Because from Genesis, the early chapters of Genesis, the divine presence is there. And then when you turn to Revelation, what do you have at the very end is the divine presence. And then throughout the journey of our lives, we're relying on God's presence in our lives.